Okay, I've got this Charles Daly. We've got it disassembled here as far as you know you would normally take it apart to clean it. And what I'm gonna do is use a soap, like an like an automotive soap. This is kind of a uh, you know an AGI Robert Dunlap version of cleaning, which is a pretty good way to clean. I've done it. Even before I watched the AGI videos, I'd used soap and water before. And uh, so, but you know, there's other ways to do it. You could use a solvent, you know, like a, you know, a, a petroleum or oil-based solvent. I've used used to buy WD-40 in big containers and use that to clean with. So I'm going to take and you know, I don't need to clean this floor in here, and I don't really need to hose this down. I don't need to put it in the water, but I'm going to spray it a little bit. So I'm going to just spray everything down a little bit here with this cleaner. Not a whole lot, but enough to get the job done. Just set every the barrel, which um, I've got, you know, when I'm, I've got brushes and rods and stuff to clean uh, barrels, but, you know, shotgun barrels, um, I don't normally clean them, I don't know, maybe I should, but I don't clean them every time I clean the gun. There's not a lot of stuff that gets built up in them, and there's no riflings in it or anything, so, you know, every once in a while I push a brush and a patch through it and stuff, but, so anyway. There's that. The bolt, we definitely want to, we definitely want to get that clean. There's, and I just cleaned this gun, but I didn't do it with this method. I just wiped it down a little bit with uh, with oil and a rag. So when I put this in the water, you'll see all the dirt that I have. I'm sure there'll be quite a bit of dirt. But it hasn't been shot since I did that last. So. True group. Give it a good hosing down. Now I'm going to take a. Just got a toothbrush here. Scrub everything down. Scrub it, scrub it. Got a lot to clean on the spring. The bolt, we definitely want to scrub the bolt. Scrub it for dear life. All around that, the face of it and around the firing pin and make sure that there's no dirt around the extractor right there. Clean that really good. Wipe down the action bar a little bit. Um, I've noticed on my gun a lot of times there'll be a lot of crud in this area right in here. I don't really know why. I'm going to scrub that really good, scrub in there, take and definitely clean inside the receiver, there's going to be a lot of dirt in there, and this magazine too, there's always a bunch of build up there too, that got builds up under that spring and stuff. I'm going to put this, uh, put these parts in the water now, and I, 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 like I said, I cleaned it with oil and oil and a rag, but I'll bet that I missed quite a bit. We'll see. Put all these parts in here. Squish them around, maybe work at, you know, work on the bolts a little bit more. I suppose I didn't miss as much as I thought I did because the water has turned colors here. It's definitely, you know, murky looking, but I didn't miss as much as I thought I did. This really helps you to clean inside the crevices and stuff where you might not normally be able to get without taking things, you know, further apart. Alright. And I'm going to 
tank can wipe down the inside of this receiver since I can't fit it in the water here. I'll just wipe it down with a dry rag.